Hey, many fish. It's the 23rd of March, 2018. And this March for Our Lives thing just continuously, just, I mean, everywhere I look, quite literally, everywhere I look, I see this March for Our Lives. And I get it. I understand. But some of the imagery that I'm seeing, I mean, there's so much we can do with these articles that I'm just simply telling you that there's something on the spiritual level that is being pushed here. I mean, you have beyond support for this. You, you should see what um, the authorities themselves here, this here is the mayor of D.C., and, uh, I mean, she is, like, literally putting in, you know, extra type of, you know, touches f specifically for this. She's being very supportive of it openly and using public resources to, you know, support it more than anyone else would be supported. And here she is with Justin Timberlake with her 51st state shirt on. That's another video in and of itself. They even make sure they tell us she's wearing a shirt. The 51st state. And this is just crazy. 119,000 likes. And I'm seeing all this stuff. But what, I, what really caught my eye was. I was checking on once in a while. Actually pretty much every week. Mostly out of curiosity. I'll pull up the uh, Jewish calendar. And just see what they're doing on uh, Shabbat. What they're. Torah study is and whatnot. And tomorrow is Nisan 8. Okay, Shabbat tomorrow. And their particular study tomorrow is um, Leviticus 6 1 and 8 36, Jeremiah 7 21 through 28, Jeremiah 9 22 through 23. Interesting numbers there, but I saw this Jewish history here. You got to get a load of this. War of the Egyptian Firstborn, 1313 B.C. On the Sabbath before the Exodus, on that year, the firstborn of Egypt who occupied the senior positions in the priesthood and government, you got to understand that the firstborn weren't just all little babies that died in Egypt. These were grown men who, you know, had a lot of uh, status in good lives and ran the show and so they fought a battle with the pharaoh's troops their actual you know parents if you will their troops in an effort to secure the release of the israelites to prevent the plague of the firstborn <laughs> this great miracle is commemorated each year on the sabbath before passover which is tomorrow which is therefore called shabbat Haggadah, the great Shabbat. This is one of the rare instances in which a commemorative date in the Jewish calendar is set by the day of the week rather than the day of the month. That's to ensure that it's on a Sabbath. 1313 BC, War of the Egyptian Firstborn. And I'm looking at these, all these images of these kids, you know, for these protests and whatnot and it's weird because it's like you know they're young adults and they are turning against essentially the grown-ups you know what i mean telling the grown-ups you know you don't know what you're doing more or less right and they're getting untold support from our you know left-leaning whatever you want to call them but do you understand where i'm coming from that's really strange that that falls on the same day as the war of the Egyptian firstborn who turned on their parents, essentially, to try and free the, the Israelites, but couldn't do it. I'll leave links to this, but I thought that was just a crazy connection. Crazy. Shabbat Haggadah. Nisan 8. So... I had to share that with you, but I do have a uneasy feeling, let's say, about this whole, you know, March thing. 
And uh, so, heads up. Keep looking up. Pray up. Peace and grace to you. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, 